Hi again, Jonathan here. With DSLRs and cameras on our phones, it's easy to quickly accumulate a ton of pictures. So how do you organize photos on Mac? Well, you could always clean up your photo library manually, but that's a lot of work. And there are some easier ways to do it. Today I'll show you how to organize photos on Mac using the Photos app and without it. I'll also show you some tricks that'll keep your library organized so you can find the pictures you're looking for that much faster. Let's organize your photos. Before you start organizing your pictures, you're going to want to clean up any duplicates you might have. And the quickest way to do that is with the app Gemini 2. You can download it from the link in the video description below. After you've installed and opened Gemini 2 on your Mac, click the plus sign and then select the Pictures folder. Gemini 2 will then scan for all the duplicate and similar looking photos in that folder. When it is finished, you'll be able to review the results and manually select which pictures you want to keep and which ones you want to delete. Or you can click the Smart Cleanup button to automatically select the best images and get rid of the rest. Now that you have those duplicates cleaned up, what do you do if you have multiple photo libraries on your Mac? You can consolidate or merge them into one library. Since there isn't a native way to combine your photo libraries, you'll have to move your pictures from one library and add them to another. To merge your photo libraries, first hold down the Option key and open the Photos app. In the pop-up window, choose the library you want to merge. After it opens, click Edit in the menu bar and then select All. Next, click File and then Export. You'll have the option to export your original photos or export them with any edit you've made. Next, choose the folder on your Mac where you want to save the pictures. When it's finished, quit Photos and then hold down Option and open it back up. Now select the library that you want to import those photos into. Then just drag and drop the folder with the pictures you want to import. And of course, if you have more than two libraries, you can repeat these steps until you've exported the pictures from each of your libraries. Another great way the Photos app can help you organize your pictures is with Smart Albums. Smart Albums will group your pictures together based on specific parameters. For instance, you can collect all the photos you took on your last holiday, or have an album that groups all the pictures of your coworkers together. Now that you've got all excited to use Smart Albums, this is all you have to do to create one. In the Photos app, click the plus sign next to My Albums in the sidebar. Then select Smart Album, name the Smart Album, and set the parameters. Smart Albums are also helpful for finding pictures and then organizing them later, which is especially true if you have thousands of photos dating back to 2001. Smart Albums makes it easy to find specific pictures based on things like where you took them or what camera you captured them with. As promised, there are tricks in the Photos app to help you navigate your library. First up is favorites. It's rare that you ever take just one photo. You probably snap two, three, four, or even 50 to get the perfect shot, but you only ever share one. Well, in the Photos app, you can favorite the pictures you like best by clicking on the heart in the bottom left corner. Then you can view your favorites by clicking in the sidebar. The next trick takes advantage of Photos facial recognition feature. Just click people in the sidebar and select a person to view all of the pictures of them. Maybe you went on a trip or to an event with other people who took pictures. An easy way to collect everyone's photos into one place is with shared albums. Setting up a shared album is easy. First, click the plus sign next to shared albums in the sidebar. Next, give your album a name, invite people, and click create. Then all you have to do is drag and drop the photos you want to share in that album. You can always add more people later by clicking the button that looks like a person in a circle. But even though the Photos app has a ton of great ways to help you organize your pictures, you don't have to use it. You can manage your pictures in folders like you do with your documents or downloads. Although, if you don't have a system in place already, then you probably have pictures saved everywhere on your computer. Thankfully, you can use smart folders to help you find all of your photos wherever they are on your Mac. To set up a new smart folder, open a new finder window and then click File and New Smart Folder. Make sure this Mac is selected before you click the plus sign over in the right corner. Using the drop-down menus, change Name to Kind and Any to Image. That's it. Then you'll see all of your image files. 
You can also save the Smart Folder so you can come back to it. Click Save and then name the folder. But if you have photos saved all over your Mac, spotting and removing duplicates might seem like an impossible task, even with the help of Smart Folders. But don't worry, you can use Gemini 2 again to scan for duplicate and similar looking pictures. Just download Gemini 2 from the link in the description and install it. Then click the plus sign and select your home folder. Keep in mind that Gemini 2 scans for all file types. So the result will show all of your copied files, not just your pictures. The bright side is that you can get rid of all the duplicate files on your Mac just by clicking the Smart Cleanup button. Or you can review the results and decide for yourself which copy of your files you want to keep. And that's all there is to organizing your photos on Mac. Follow these tips and your library will be tidied up in no time. Remember, you can find the link to download Gemini 2 in the video description below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to get more helpful tips and tricks on organizing your Mac and optimizing its performance. See you next time!